So let us try to understand how to locate the instantaneous center of rotation for single slider crank mechanism. As shown over here, this is our fixed link. This is the crank. Is the second link. Then three is the connecting rod and four is the piston. Now we'll use the circle diagram method to locate the instantaneous center of rotation. So first we'll write down the link numbers over here. So one, two, three, four. Then corresponding ICR. So you have to first write down the ICRs in this particular fashion. So it is one, two. You have to start from one. So this is one, two, then one, three, then one and four. Then you have to go for two, three, and then two, four, and finally three, four. So there are six ICRs because as there are four links are there. So number of links are four. So the formula for the number of ICRs in particular mechanism is n into n minus one upon two, where small n is a number of links and capital N is a number of ICRs. So it is four into four minus one upon two, that is six. So there are six ICRs. So as we have indicated over here. So again, try to understand. Start from one. So one, two, then one, three, one, four, then two, three, two, four, and then three, four. Now. Out of this, this one and two, they are joined over here. So this is known as instantaneous center of one with respect to two, and it is known as the fixed ICR because out of this one and two, one is the fixed link. Then two and three, they are pin jointed over here. So this is known as the permanent ICR, as neither of these two or second or third link, neither is fixed, so it is a permanent ICR. Similarly, three and four. There, that is the third link is the connecting rod. Four is the piston. They are connected with the help of gudgeon pin. So, as they are pin jointed over here, this is the permanent ICR three four because neither three is fixed nor four is fixed. But the most important ICR is one four. That is the slider four is sliding. This particular slider is sliding in the horizontal direction with respect to fixed link. That is one. So. The sliding motion can be described as the rotation with the infinite radius. So we can say that this particular ICR is perpendicular to the path of sliding. So as it is indicated by this blue line and going towards infinity. So the property, another important property of this ICR is that it can be shifted to any other ICR. So if you want to draw this particular ICR through two three, then just draw a line parallel to this particular one four passing through two three. Similarly, if you want to draw this particular ICR passing through one two, then you have to draw a line parallel to this line and again passing through one two like that. So we can shift this particular ICR to any other ICR by drawing a parallel line to this particular line, which is nothing but perpendicular to the path of sliding of that particular slider. Now, out of these six ICRs, these are the ICRs as we have indicated over here. So one two, then this two three. Then this three four and one four. So by observation, we can locate these particular ICRs. And this one two, we have joined over here by a solid line. This two three, we have joined by solid line. Then three four and one four. So the ICRs which are known to us, they are joined over here in the circle diagram by solid lines. And now we have to start locating this particular ICR. Suppose we want to locate one three, then. Join this by a dotted line. It will form two triangles. So this is one triangle, one two three, and this is the another triangle that is one four three. So the combination is suppose we consider this triangle. Leave this one three as it is. Take into consideration the other two ICRs that is one two and two three, and write down that combination over here. Similarly, consider the another triangle. So this is one four and three four, and write down that combination over here. Now we'll see how to use this particular combination to locate the ICR one three. Now we have to join this particular two ICRs, so one two and two three. We have to join it. They are already joined, as you can see over here, one two and two three. Just extend them, join and then extend them. So we have extended it in this particular fashion. Then one four three four. Now you have to be very careful about this one four ICR, which is going towards infinity. Now. This particular ICR is in combination with three four, so it must pass through this three four. So it is already passing through this three four. Just extend it. 
wherever these two i these two particular lines they intersect each other that is our icr 13 so in this way we have located this particular icr now the last icr that we have to locate is 24 so again join this 24 by dotted line so again you will form these two triangles so this is the first triangle this is the another triangle and the combination is suppose we consider this particular first triangle leave this 24 as it is don't consider this 24 see the another combination 1 4 1 2 that we have written over here and then for this particular triangle it is 2 3 3 4 so that also we have considered over here so 1 2 1 4 so again now you can see this 1 4 is the icr of the infinity it must pass through this 1 2 icr 1 2 so icr 1 2 is over here through this icr draw a line parallel to this particular icr which is going towards infinity so you can see we have shown it over here by the faint blue line so this is the icr 14 which is passing through 12 so this is the combination under consideration the next one is you have to join these two particular icrs 23 and 34 so this is 23 and this is 34 they are already joined just extend them so wherever these two intersect that is this particular line and the previously drawn line then that particular icr is i24 so in this way we can locate the icrs for single sided tank